Good morning, please be seated. <clears throat> Welcome to the Heinz College Diploma and Award Ceremony. My name is Ramaya Krishnan, Dean of the Heinz College, and I'm honored to preside over this important occasion. Our graduates have worked very hard to reach this significant day. Please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for their outstanding accomplishments. <laughs> These talented individuals did not reach this point in their lives alone. They were supported by family and friends, many of whom are here today to celebrate with them. I'd like to ask the graduates to join me in thanking their families and friends today. <clears throat> also joining us are faculty and administrators who've been instrumental in delivering the programs and ensuring the success of today's graduates. Will the faculty and staff please rise so that we can recognize you? I'd like to introduce some of those seated on the stage with me today. Keith Block. Keith is the Vice Chairman, President, and COO of Salesforce, as well as a distinguished alumnus of our MSPPM program. Andrew Wasser. Andy is the Associate Dean for the School of Information Systems and Management. Jackie Speedy. Jackie is the Associate Dean for the School of Public Policy and Management. Catherine Heidemann. Catherine is the Assistant Dean for Arts and Entertainment at the Heinz College and the College of Fine Arts. Rahul Talang is Professor of Information Systems and Chair of the Heinz College Doctoral Programs. Rema Padman. Rema is Professor of Management Science and Healthcare Informatics at the Heinz College. Mark Scott Camlet, University Professor of Economics and Public Policy and Provost Emeritus. <clears throat> it's my pleasure to welcome our keynote speaker, Keith Block. We're also thrilled that Keith's wife, Suzanne, is joining us for this special occasion. Thank you both for being here today. Keith's career has been at the intersection of technology, business, and its impact on our communities and organizations. He's currently the Vice Chairman, President, and COO of Salesforce, the number one customer relationship management company, and the fourth largest software company in the world. Keith leads the company's day-to-day -day operations, including its rapidly growing multi-billion dollar global sales and services business, alliances and channels, industry strategy, corporate development, corporate affairs, marketing and business operations. 
Before joining Salesforce, Keith was the Executive Vice President of North America Sales and Consulting at Oracle Corporation and started his career as a consultant for Booz Allen Hamilton. Keith currently serves on the World Economic Forum's Information Technology Community as a governor. He's also engaged as a civic leader in the Boston area, serving on the Board of Trustees of the Concord Museum and the Boston Partners in Education. Keith is an active, dedicated alumnus of Carnegie Mellon University, holding a bachelor's degree in information systems from the Dietrich College and a Master of Science in Public Policy and Management from the Heinz College. Keith serves as a member of the University Board of Trustees and is a member of my Dean's Advisory Council. Keith provides me with outstanding counsel and insight, and our community is undoubtedly better for his advice and support. Keith. Thank you, uh, Dean Krishnan, for that <clears throat> wonderful introduction. I appreciate it. Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. So faculty and family and friends, and most importantly, the Heinz College graduates 2017. This is a big day. I'm sure you've all been waiting for this. I know the, uh, this side of the room is very excited. I don't know about this side of the room. <laughs> but congratulations to all of you uh, for this amazing achievement. I hope that you are very, very proud, because you should be, uh, and excited about what you're about to do. So please, please give yourselves a round of applause. Now, I would also ask, as Dean Krishnan did, to please give your family and loved ones who are here a round of applause for putting up with you for so many years, right? So it is a great honor, it's a great privilege for me to be here. Uh, at this outstanding university, at this incredible college, on this very, very special day for all of you. Uh, now, before I begin, I have to share uh, my utmost respect uh, and admiration for some leaders that have guided and have shaped this college and this university for so many years. Dean Krishnan and President Suresh, both of you have demonstrated absolutely exceptional leadership and vision in making both Heinz and Carnegie Mellon a world leader in higher education. Both of you have inspired tens of thousands, tens of thousands of students from all over the world, a global community, and an incredible network of alumni. And because of your leadership, and the leadership of you up there, and because of your leadership, the reach of this university extends literally to all corners of the earth and has had a profound effect on every aspect of society. And today, we are poised to celebrate, yet again, the graduation of an incredible wave of leaders who will go on to make the world a better place. And that's what this is all about. And both of you have had a huge role in this, and you have inspired many, and yes, you have actually inspired me. And for that, I am very, very thankful. I am, as uh, Dean Krishnan said, I am a, a trustee of the university. I'm a proud alumnus. But most importantly, I am very proud to say that both of you are friends. And I would ask all of you to please give these two gentlemen a huge, huge round of applause for everything they've done. Dean Krishnan and President Suresh. And I also have to give a special shout out to uh, the, the person who really got this party started for me, Mark Camlet, who was my original advisor back in the 80s, if you can believe that. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, I don't mean to date you. Um, but he inspired me, he supported me, he encouraged me uh, to continue my education, to get a master's degree, and uh, again, I owe you a great debt, Mark, so thank you very much for that. You can give him a round of applause as well. He's a great guy. Now, as, as much as I love the three of you, um, it really is about the people here in the audience, uh, and that's where we're going to spend our time. But before we get to you, the graduates, we're going to talk a little bit about me. So hold on to your hats. Um, in 1984, I received my under, undergraduate degree in information systems from H&SS. It was called H&SS. It's now known as Dietrich. And a master's from Heinz that was then known as SUPA, the School of Urban and Public Affairs. And truth be told, I was thrilled when the name changed, honestly, to Heinz. Uh, I was a member of the first class of undergraduates, earning a bachelor's degree in information systems. It was the first time of that program. 
I was part of, uh, I think, the first 3-2 program in the university where you could stay an extra year, just go five years, you get a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in public policy, which was really cool. And as a 20-something, just like you, this program was unique, it was stimulating, it was exciting, and truth be told, the thought of making $30,000 when I graduated, I was all in, baby, so I went for it. It sounded pretty good. Now, Heinz at that time was housed over at Maggie Morrison, and there were about four classrooms, and I think we had about 50 students in the graduating class, so it is a far cry from the school that you all are graduating from today. And back then, the school had to beg and borrow and steal for any resource, any, any facility, and almost any faculty but we won't give up any secrets. But that was a long, long time ago. And as my children remind me, that was when dinosaurs ruled the earth. But even then, Pittsburgh was Pittsburgh. There were pierogies and permani sandwiches and chipped ham, very, very abundant. Now, how many people in this audience have actually had a permani sandwich? How many of you will care to admit it, I should say? Uh, so when I think back on all those permani sandwiches and chipped ham, and I know the families up here know because that's what they lived on, it was pretty gross. And I don't know how I passed my cardiology test, but it's all good. Uh, we hung out at a place called Alley's. It was a bar, and it was condemned, or nearly condemned. It was very, very popular. It was very close to where Hamburg Hall is today. And it probably violated every single health code known to humankind. And there was plenty of Iron City beer. I don't know if any of you actually partake in Iron City beer. I won't take a poll here because your parents are up here. But uh, there was lots of it. Uh, but the Domino's Pizza, they could not keep up with the demand. But if you were really hungry and desperate, there was always the Dirty O. Now, how many of you have been to the Dirty O? Come on. <laughs> Mark Hamlet has been to the Dirty O. <laughs> anyway, it was a great experience, uh, but that was a very, very different time. Just a very, very different time. And it wasn't just the university and college experience that was different, it was also the university, or excuse me, the city of Pittsburgh. And that was a time, back when I was in school, that you could look around the city and what you would see were the hollowed shells of abandoned steel mills all over the landscape, everywhere. And this was a proud city and region. It still is a very proud city and region, but it had been decimated by the decline of the steel industry. And the hope and pride of the city really centered around the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Pittsburgh Pirates. And that's what this was like. And it was the time when the city was going through its second renaissance. So there was renaissance one and two. And it was a pretty difficult time, but it was a very, very successful transition. And you can see how great the city of Pittsburgh is today. But it was a, tra a transition from a heavy industrial town to a brand new type of economic model. And a lot of that critical thinking that helped bring the city through Renaissance I to Renaissance II to where Pittsburgh is today was led by members of this university, specifically Heinz. And that is a rich history that all of you should be proud of. And that sort of thinking continues today, 30 years later, which is incredible, as Heinz is helping to reimagine smart cities all over the world. And yes, I think we would all say right now that we live in a world where we need that leadership more than ever. And that is why Heinz is so important, and that's why each of you, as I look at you out in the audience, that's why each of you is so important. Heinz is an amazing institution. It represents the intersection of policy and technology where two great roads come together to shape a future. It is unlike any other school in the world, and that is what makes Heinz so unique. Looking back at my experience, Heinz gave me a great foundation as I entered the world. First, serving the public sector when I started my career at Booz Allen, and then later the private sector at Oracle, and now Salesforce. And so it will be with each of you. In fact, Salesforce is having a job fair for all of you after this, and we're gonna take all of you. If you wanna switch jobs right now, we'll do it. But you may not realize what you've achieved, but in 10 or 20 or 30 years from now, you will appreciate the training and the education and the experiences that you have received here. And you join a very, very special group. This is a very, very elite school. But most importantly, today, in about an hour, you go out into the world to face the world's problems. And you have to have the confidence to know, and this is very important, that you bring the best critical thinking skills on the planet to solve these world's problems. And as again, I said, this is more important than ever right now. Now today, we live in a time that many call the Industrial Revolution 4.0. So I love history, and Professor Tarr is up here, so I have to pay homage to him. But I'll give you a little bit of history. The first industrial revolution was about the use of water and steam. The second industrial revolution was used the power of electricity to create mass production. 
The third used electronics and information technology to accelerate production not too long ago. And no city on earth has both influenced and felt the profound impacts of that tectonic shift more than the city of Pittsburgh. I would challenge anybody to name another city. And now here, the fourth industrial revolution, we are at the dawn of this. And it builds on the third with an acceleration of technology. It is the perfect storm. It's the convergence of cloud and mobile and social and data science and IoT and artificial intelligence, started here at CMU, by the way. And this convergence of technology is having a profound impact on our world. It has brought great innovation. It has brought great opportunity for all of us and all of you. But it has also brought great disruption. And at the World Economic Forum, where I serve on the IT Board of Governors, as Dean Krishnan mentioned, President Suresh and I trek to Davos every January. And you'll be pleased to know that the university is very, very active at WEF, and that is a very good thing. In fact, Dean Kreshnan has been coming uh, very, very active. And for those of you who don't know, the World Economic Forum, affectionately known as WEF, is about bringing world leaders together to make the world a better place. And for the last two years at Davos, the topic of digital transformation and the Industrial Revolution 4.0 have been top of mind for everybody. Leaders from all over the world, policymakers, CEOs, they are all grappling and grasping for what the impact of accelerating technology means to the world. What will these technologies be about? Will they be forces of good or will they be forces of evil? What are the privacy implications? What are the social boundaries? What are the socioeconomic effects? What are the regulatory implications? And last but not least, what is the future of work? What is the future of work? Because technology is the ultimate change agent. It reduces barriers. And the barrier to, to disrupt in this world has never been lower, and the opportunity to innovate has never been higher. And we all see this on a daily basis in our personal lives and in our professional lives. New companies are born every day with new business models, and they leverage these amazing technologies. And all companies today face the reality of a world where they can disrupt or be disrupted, and that's a fact. No company, no industry, no government is immune to any of these market dynamics. So we are clearly at the dawn of an era of potential change that we have never seen in the history of man or womankind. It's very exciting, but we are absolutely living in a world of uncharted waters. Now, throughout history, advances in technology, this is not a new thing. They've had a profound impact on the daily lives of people and on workforces. It's not new. We've seen this in the first three Industrial Revolutions. However, some people say that the Industrial Revolution 4.0 is very, very different. It's not just about the impact on the blue-collar worker this time. Now the white-collar worker in every industry and, uh, may feel the changes of these changes in technology. It's interesting as a person who has lived their career in the world of technology, and it's also interesting to watch the profound effect of technology and the change in social sentiment towards the tech sector, many of which, uh, many of you will be joining that. Now in 2008, many people said that Wall Street was evil during the financial crisis. Two weeks ago, I was with a group of CEOs and we were talking about the effects of artificial intelligence on the world. And one CEO came up to me and said, there are some people who view Silicon Valley as one step away from being one of the worst places on earth. Think about that. Well, right now, there is a wave of anxiety because of these accelerating technologies. And it must be calmed because technology, as we all know, is not evil. And innovation cannot be stopped, nor should it be. This is not man versus machine. The narrative and the reality of all of this should be man and machine and all the good that technology will bring to the world. You, each of you in this audience, you are future leaders and you have a social responsibility to be a torchbearer of social responsibility and this great vision and promise. And it is imperative to harness this technology in a proper way and channel technology for good. And to do this, it will require leadership, it will require awareness and vision and education and responsible acts. And that is why Heinz is so important. And that is why each of you, each of you is so important to our future. Now I have been very, very blessed in my life. I'm a very lucky man. I have a beautiful and smart and loving and supportive wife here in the front row. She is a, a true partner, Suzanne, and my best friend. Together we have five incredible children, ages eight to 27, and Suzanne and I have spent our entire career in the technology business. And while all five of these kids have successfully avoided 
careers in the technology business. One of them managed to go into public policy, so that's cool. I think we did something right. Actually, the reality is all of them have chosen their own path. They've entered the world with confidence and with capability. And Suzanne and I could not be more proud of every one of these kids. They are, without a doubt, our greatest achievement. And I'm sure your parents are saying that about you right now. Am I right, parents? Yeah. Now, that being said, I've also had the opportunity to work with some pretty gifted people in my career, and I've learned an awful lot from them. And someday, when they uh, have the Mount Rushmore of technology out in Silicon Valley, there will be names like Gates and Jobs and Ellison and Benioff. They're all going to be there, and probably many others, perhaps some people in this room. But I've had the privilege and honor to work closely and directly with two of them. That's Larry and Mark. Now, these two are very, very different people, but they have had a profound impact on my life and thousands of other people's. They both pioneered industries with new computing paradigms. And I have been very, very fortunate to be part of both Oracle and Salesforce as those companies made history. And what I've learned in my many years through experience and learning from others gets down to one important tenet. And this is what I want to leave to all of you. Now, 30 years from now, when you forget about this whole speech and this whole day, just try to remember what I'm about to say to you, because it's important. It's called leadership. Leadership will get you through many things in your life, both personally and professionally. And in your darkest days, you will deep, dig deep down and you will grab for leadership, and others will be looking to you for that. Leadership is the most important thing. And everyone, everybody in this audience has the opportunity to be a leader. In fact, in your own way, whether you realize it or not, all of you will become leaders. Leaders are the role models. They do the right things. They remain focused on the greater good. They teach, leaders teach. They have a vision and they have a voice to articulate it and they keep moving and they never ever stop. They collaborate and build bridges. They don't put up walls, they build bridges. And leaders embrace diversity and they embrace equality and they listen and they have an open mind and they take risks. And they're not afraid to course correct when they make mistakes. And they demonstrate character and integrity and transparency. And they inspire. They inspire. Leaders also cast a very long shadow. And leaders are a beacon of light for all of those who are around them. So now, as you go out into the world, this is your opportunity to lead. This is about you. You are the leaders of the future. The Heinz College founding dean, William Cooper, imagined and, in, and realized an incredible vision to educate men and women for intelligent action. I love that phrase. Now, you've probably heard that statement many, many times since you've been at Heinz, and finally the time has come for you to go out into the world, to explore, to investigate, to determine what is right for you. It's very personal, but it is all about becoming men and women who lead in society with intelligent action. And this institution, along with your focus and dedication and commitment and hard work and sacrifice, has given you the knowledge and insight that's incredibly powerful. This is a gift. Appreciate it. Roll around in it and enjoy it. It is a true gift. Because you have the opportunity to solve real world problems. And whether it is smart cities or transportation or healthcare or privacy or security or the future of work, which is going to become very, very important, any of the above, each of you brings the tools together to advance technology and policy together. And whether you decide to pursue your career in the public sector or the private sector, you have the power to lead, to guide, to shape. You have the opportunity to transform. Very important. Now, I talked about the Industrial Revolution 4.0, and at this moment of time, our world is clearly at an inflection point. Our current reality is a tale of two cities. One of incredible opportunity and hope. That's the one I'm voting for. And two, one of uncertainty and apprehension and fear. Which path will each of us choose? Which path will you choose? How is this going to play out? Well, the future has yet to be written, but here's the great news. Each of you will be a co-author in how this story unfolds. You have the ability to have an amazing impact on society. It is about policy, it is about technology, it is about man and machine, and at the end of the day, it is all about leadership. Now, I have great hopes for our future. I think everybody in this room does as well. 
and the incredible opportunity that is in front of all of you. And that is because each of you, each of you will lead. We have great confidence in you. This is your obligation to be that beacon of light that represents hope and a better tomorrow. And I know with confidence that each of you will do that. So with this, I say thank you on behalf of your future and what you will do. I congratulate you and I wish you all the very best on your journey. Congratulations. Keith, thank you for uh, those very thoughtful and inspiring remarks uh, and, and on leadership and the connections to um, the Industrial Revolution 4.0. Very relevant to what we're doing today at Heinz. Uh, I want to thank you once again, both you and Suzanne, uh, for being here uh, with us today. It's now time to present awards honoring the accomplishments of some very special members of the Heinz College community. These award recipients were selected by a committee of faculty, staff, and students. <clears throat> the Barbara Jenkins Service Award is presented annually to a graduating student who has demonstrated outstanding service to Heinz College and made significant contributions to the quality of life in the Pittsburgh community. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Mark Eggy. Mark? Mark graduated this past December from our Master of Information Systems Management uh, Business Intelligence and Data Analytics program. Mark could not be with, here, uh, with us here today uh, as he has started uh, with High Street Consulting Group as a transportation data scientist in Bozeman, Montana. But let's give him a good round of applause. <clears throat> The Otto A. Davis Award is presented in honor of our second dean who worked to foster racial equality through public policy and created the core values that still guide the Heinz College today. This year's recipient is Lindsay Powell. <laughs> Lindsay, please join me on the stage. Lindsay is graduating from the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management the DC program. She makes an impact in the communities in which she lives, from her time as a Fulbright scholar in rural Malaysia to her time here in Pittsburgh through her involvement with the New Leaders Council and her many contributions to the Heinz community. Lindsay, thank you for your service to Pittsburgh and the Heinz College communities. The Student Leadership Awards are presented to students recognized for excellent academic achievement, strong communication skills, and exceptional promise for future success. This year's recipients are Ahmed Salahuddin, Kevin O'Hara, and Justin Cole. <clears throat> Ahmed, would Ahmed, Kevin, and Justin please come to the stage? Ahmed Salahuddin is graduating from the Master of Information Systems program. Ahmed is the founder and president of the Heinz Music Club, which hosts a wide variety of musical performances as well as guitar and singing lessons. He started this organization to provide a creative outlet both for himself and his classmates. Ahmed has also served as a peer mentor, providing advice, support, and guidance to new students at Heinz College. Congratulations, Ahmed. <clears throat> Kevin O'Hara is graduating from the Master of Arts Management program. Kevin served his fellow students as a Heinz College rep in the Graduate Student Assembly. He worked as a member of the performance programming staff for Future Tenant, the MAM program's laboratory art space, and as a producer of Co-Opera, a joint program between the Pittsburgh Opera and the CMU Music School composers. Congratulations, Kevin. <clears throat> 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 
Justin Cole is graduating today from the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management Data Analytics program. He has been an incredibly active uh, student here at Heinz, and his most notable accomplishment, but his most, no more, most notable accomplishments have been the establishment of SUDS, uh, the Student for Urban Data Systems, a multidisciplinary group with nearly 400 members from across the CMU campus, not just Heinz. In less than two years, SUDS has sponsored almost 10 data analytics projects with local community organizations, hosted over 30 events, and had over 2,000 cumulative attendees. Justin's vision of SUDS and of making most of his opportunities at Heinz to do good with data extend beyond Heinz College. Congratulations, Justin. I'd like to take a moment to recognize a PhD student who was selected by the PhD committee to receive the Suresh Konda Memorial First Paper uh, Research Award. Siddharth Sharma, if you could please join me on the stage. This award is named in memory of alumnus Suresh Konda, who earned his Master of Science in Public Policy and Management degree as well as his PhD degree at Heinz College. This year's recipient is Siddharth Sharma for his paper, Product Heterogeneity and Effect of Sponsored Search on E-Commerce Marketplaces, Evidence from a Large-Scale Randomized Field Experiment. Congratulations, Siddharth. Now I'll present the Outstanding Teaching Assistant Awards. These awards are presented in recognition of excellent student support by a teaching assistant. This year's recipients are Melanie Zaber and Yi Zhang. Melanie and Yi, please join me on stage. Melanie is graduating with a PhD in Economics and Public Policy and she'll be joining the RAND Corporation as an associate economist. One of her nominators noted that she's able to make difficult concepts easy to understand. She breaks problems down and will, and will keep coming up with new examples until I understand. He is currently a PhD student at the Heinz College, and his research interests lie in the economics of information systems. He has been a teaching assistant for eight different courses at Heinz, including statistics for IT managers and advanced business analytics. Several of the students noted that he always goes above and beyond to help them master the content. Melanie and E, congratulations, and thank you for your excellent service to students. Sadly, Heinz College lost several members of our uh, community this year. Steve Feinberg, University Professor of Statistics and Social Science, passed away in December. Steve was a prolific, creative, and profoundly respected interdisciplinary scholar. His contributions to the field of statistics and social sciences and his pioneering work in machine learning earned him international acclaim. Teaching Professor Emeritus Pamela Lewis passed away in March. She joined the Heinz College faculty in 1980 and took Emeritus status last year. She was a pioneer and an award-winning instructor teaching strategic presentation skills to generations of Heinz College students. We lost Rajat Patra a student in the Master of Information Systems Management program last spring. 
Rajat was a passionate student who earned a prestigious internship for the summer and was planning to create his own IT consultancy after graduation. He was also an avid guitar player and a proud member of the Heinz community. We prepared a short video in their memory. The university presented Rajat's parents with an honorary alumnus certificate last year. Following graduation, we'll be planting a tree behind Hamburg Hall in memory of Rajat. All of us in the Heinz community deeply miss him. Please join me in a moment of silence while we remember those we have lost. Thank you. Each year, the graduating class chooses one student to share his or her thoughts and reflections on their experiences at Heinz College. This year, Carmelo Montalvo was selected by his peers. Carmelo earned his Bachelor of Science in Biology from North Carolina Central University before joining the Master of Science in Healthcare Policy and Management program. Carmelo is the Director of Operations at Forest Devices here in Pittsburgh and plans to remain on the Carnegie Mellon football coaching staff following graduation. Carmelo. Greetings, esteemed faculty, staff, and guests. On behalf of the class of 2017, a sincere thank you to all who traveled wide and far to be here with us today. Now, this group of individuals may not be here personally, and I guarantee you they're taking note that today is happening. And if you don't know who they are, in about six months, you will. So again, on behalf of the class of 2017, a special shout out to Sally Mae, uh, Naviant, and Nelnet. And if you don't know who they are, they'll be a fixture of your life for some time to come. <laughs> now, on to what brings us to this wondrous occasion. Graduates. Yeah. Class of 2017, congratulations. It is well-deserved. 
Let this moment sink in. Let it be like a picture in your mind, one that invokes pride and confidence in all of the accomplishments that you've achieved thus far. This occasion gives us all a renewed sense of purpose. That is why today, graduates, while garbed in our robes, a representation that we are some of the most distinguished, highly educated, and credible individuals in our respective fields, that we have a talk about the world you will inherit as a recent Heinz graduate. Whether it be for a lack of resources, institutionalized barriers, or even a shortage in qualifications, many others would have loved to have been in the seats that you are in today, but they are not the ones here. The onus is on us to seize the opportunities that we have to change the world to be a better place for them. We must use these talents and gifts that we possess to change the world. You see, we live in a world where popular opinion, social and financial status dictate what people think of us. And to be completely honest, some people will judge you before they even know you, before you open your mouth or let your actions speak for themselves. And in this day and age, <laughs> one can be glorified for Instagram fame or damned because of political opinion. We live in a society today that is more connected than any other time in our history, yet we stand divided. And unfortunately, we don't debate fact, we argue opinion. But those, these conditions are tenuous. It leaves us with a very unique opportunity. That opportunity is for us to be the catalyst of change, the best way we Heinzers know how, by challenging the status quo. Now, just like our management science class, that's no task, that's no small task. It requires commitment and it requires perseverance. You have to remember that not everyone will support your chances and your ideas to change the world. Your vision may fall on deaf ears and that's because people live in a state of complacency, nonchalantly accepting the circumstances that surround them. It's a state of ambivalence that's indicative of the privileges that we take for granted at one point or another. So students, graduates, take pride in your ability to shake things up. I see, I see Brandon laughing because he knows he does, I do that very well. <laughs> um, be confident that you can add something to this world <laughs> that makes it a better place. Enacting change can be different and looks different for everyone here. It can be a mism, discovering new ways to secure people's most vulnerable yet valuable data. It can be an HCPM, figuring out ways how to get healthcare to those who need it the most. Or a ma'am who brings the value of arts to impoverished communities. Or a PPM who establishes policy to better the lives of their local citizenry. And for all Heinz graduates, take the skills that you have honed over your lifetime, aided by the tools that you have acquired from this great institution, and be confident in your ability to change the world. Adopt an attitude that is fueled by the passion to leave this world in a better condition than you inherited it. Always put your best foot forward, and don't be hesitant to work with people from all backgrounds, races, and creeds. We have to make the world a better place for the people who will come after us. So my fellow classmates, I just have to tell you, we will do amazing things with our abilities and our opportunities. And I have to ask, if not us, then who? So class of 2017, I encourage you, I implore you, use your divine talents along with the tools you have received from this great institution to sit yourself firmly in the car of self-determination and help steer our global community to the change that it needs to make the world a better place for all of us. Be proud to stir the pot. Be confident that you are making our mixture better. Know that you are the change that you seek and challenge what is perceived to be unchallengeable. And what I'm asking is not a small task, and I understand that. And when I was younger, my older brother would say something to me all the time. He would say, pressure bursts pi uh, pipes, or it makes diamonds. And let me tell you all, I am here to tell you that we are about to shine in ways that we never thought were possible. And as one of my favorite philosophers, Aubrey Graham, you, you may know him as Drake, <laughs> would say, 
Watch out for us, because we're about to glow up, and what a time to be alive. So congratulations, class of 2017. It is well deserved. Let's get to work. Thank you. Thank you, Carmelo. That is terrific. <clears throat> I like the philosopher named Drake as well. <laughs> now, it's time to recognize our graduates. Rahul Talang, Professor of Information Systems and Chair of the Heinz College Doctoral Programs, will announce the graduates receiving the Doctor of Philosophy degrees today. <clears throat> Will the Doctor of Philosophy candidates please rise and come forward? I'm pleased to present Thomas Goldring with the Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management. His dissertation is titled, Three Essays in the Economics of Education. Thomas has accepted a position as a postdoc research fellow at the Educational Education Policy Initiative in the Ford School of Public Policy at the University of Michigan. Please join me in congratulation, congratulating Thomas. I am pleased to present Melanie Zaber with a Doctor of Philosophy in Economics and Public Policy. Her dissertation is titled, Three Essays in Household Economics. Melanie has accepted a position as an associate economist with the RAND Corporation. Please join me in congratulating Melanie. I am pleased to present Guan Wei Li with a Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management, Strategy, Entrepreneurship, and technological change. His dissertation is titled Multinational R&D Offshoring and Knowledge Diffusion in Emerging Markets. Guan Wei has accepted a position as an assistant professor at the School of Entrepreneurship and Management, Shanghai Tech University in Shanghai, China. Please. It is also my pleasure to announce that Guan Wei Li is the 2017 recipient of the William W. Cooper Dissertation Award, which is given annually at the Carnegie Mellon University to a doctoral dissertation that deals with the issues and problems in management or management science and has a strong application orientation with accompanying theoretical or methodological developments. Congratulations, Guan Wei. Please join me in a round of applause to all the PhD graduates. It's now time to recognize our graduates receiving their master's degrees. Some students are recognized as graduating with distinction, others with highest distinction. Will program director Sean Beggs please come forward to, con to congratulate our Masters of Information Systems Management graduates. Associate Dean Andrew Wasser will assist with the presentation. <clears throat> Will the graduates of the Master of Information Systems Management please rise and come forward.
Ekma Salahuddin. Disha Gupta, highest distinction. Kishore Radhakrishna. Karishma Shah. Mikit Ashwin Kanayaka. Ravit Topper. Molly Jo Wilson. Mamadou Bikyanga. Tim Pak. Nadish Kumar Mudgo. Pranav Narendra Pogwood. Dhruv Kumar. Sylvia, Sylvia Zhao. Zhou Chen. Nikhil Kani. Serbi Kapoor. Rinku Sinha. Melissa Jean Burns. Hyunsu Park, highest distinction. Rebecca Dilla, highest distinction. Owen Garrett Dale Wagner, distinction. Evan Leibowitz, highest distinction. Jiang Ming Yuan. Song Bo Lin. Banaga. Sade Chandra Mali. Aparna Chiganti. Manisha Balurka. Himani Gupta. Sakura Gudipati. Amita Kukarni. Distinction. Mary Ann Jacob. Naku Sanjay Dokanya. Katyn Madan Deshmukh. Tanya Bugga. Diana Paula Garcia Cruz, highest distinction. Carla Luyo, highest distinction. Madias Alberto Quintanas Rosales. Ryan Short. Varun Bargoff. Prasoon Paliwal. Pranati Kalamkar. Kiran Kunar. Kanur. Tanya John Baker. Distinction. Dipanjun Mukherjee. Rohan Bargoff. Peng Sun. Xin Yu Li, highest distinction. Wang Han, highest distinction. Li Jing. Abhishek Thingal. Eva Pang, highest distinction. Bhavkaran Singh Walia. Adit Arti Sangvi. Ashwin Ayer, distinction. Sahu Gupta. Vishal Ganwani, distinction. Abhinav Shukla, distinction. Navel Katoch. Rohit 
Rohit Krishna Gopal. Sahil, Sahil Nayati. Priyank Mehta. Rohit Bondi. Alka Isaac, distinction. Ahana Shishadri. Pratna P. Rao. Shewun Akinyanju, highest distinction. Anisha Cole. Theja Swarup Reddy Govala. Akosh Viragani, highest distinction. Sudanshu Mishra. Sadika Jen. Pallavi Thakur. Dara Desai. Arshdeep Kar. Monica Mriganki. Shashank Darisi. Yashwan. Jagannathan. Uma Priyanka Kambapati. Shalaka Naidu. Jane Leona Mendonca. Arunar N.S. Avanita Mahani. Nandita. Samantha Shedi. Chu Ting Xiang. Zhang Meng Yao, distinction. Ho Chun Wang. Yu Tong Huang. Distinction. Miranda Joelle Matthew, dis highest distinction. Eleanor Kenny. Biswar Anju Mohani. Karthik Kumarun Ayer. Sorudi Bag. Pranjal Tripathi. Arushi Mishra. Vanshika Paul, distinction. Ulal Ganesh Rao Nayak. Akosh Ravindranath. Sri Vishnu Chilara. Ranak Saradi. Gumfa Rawad. Samir Khan. Nadish Reddy Mungunur. Jiani Shen, highest distinction. Cecilia Forero Holman, highest distinction. Sneha. Pudar. Wang Si Yu. Dong Wuk Cho. Qi Jing. Gan Yi Dan. Yu Jie Li. Xiao Wei Li, Yuan Cheng, Ming Jie Yang, Zhou Bing Nan, Jiranat Siddhi Wehrapon, highest distinction, 
Yu Jia Zhang. Iris Liu. Xie Zhuang, highest distinction. Raksha Rao. Ankita Singh. Ping Yu Sun, highest distinction. In Basagar Ganapati. Sachin Guna Sekaru. Akash Hari Daruv. Abhishek Bavsar. Sonia Patuda. Shivani Balakrishnan Bardwaj. Aishwarya Chender, highest distinction. Shreya Sanjeev Joglaker. Nitin Nayar. Aparajit Chendran. Modit Goel, highest distinction. Swati G. Shinoi. Lu An Jiang, highest distinction. Karan Golani. Danish Riaz Malik. Zalak Getia, distinction. Zubin Jacob, highest distinction. Saideep Bolam. Gautam Ganesh Ambaker. Richa Buria. Monica Maheshwari. Puneet Saini. Lavanya Tejashwi. Yao Xin Yu. Prabdeep Singh Gill, distinction. Chaitanya Kamuru, distinction. Pushkar Wagdhair. Akshay Hundia. Gaurav Savlani. Krishnaditya Singh Rator. Tushti Narayani. Yadin Rahani. Sharon KP. Aram Yoon. Anshumali Prasad. Vishnu Krishna Prasad. Distinction. Jesse Richards. Gavin B. Winkle. Mark Grobaker, highest distinction. Yi Yin. Yu Pin Huang. He Xiao Yu. Lin Yi Yo. Zhan Jing, distinction. Xun Ya Zhou. Javier Alejandro Vasquez Trejo. Zhang Yi. Jin Qi Fan. Xia Nan. Shuang Xu. Le Le, highest distinction. Zhang Le Wen, highest distinction. Rui Tian. 
Yu Yu Qi Wang distinction. Mo Wu Lin highest distinction. Jin Yu Zhang. Ni Jia Ming. Wang Zhongjiong distinction. Wu Wei Jun. Jing Shi Ting. Song Xiao. Lu Lu Wen Hao. Tanmay Varma. Animesh Bajatya. Shivangi Chug Distinction. Jotsna Venugopal. Anmol Jen. Paras Chahabra. Ankit Goyal, highest distinction. Paritosh Reddy. Samuel Rajesh Vanambatna. Prasham Sarkaria. Aju Elias Basil Atumali. Prena Manwani. Damon Wong, distinction. Danielle Sarmiento. Samya Tushar Mehta. Karthik Balasubramanian. Himanshu Agarwal. Rohit Ramesh. Nikhil Binod Agarwal. Anania Ravi. Charmaine Elizabeth Rodriguez. Naveen Shembu Gauda. Nishanka Manjunath. Jai Manish Samput. Nikita Venugopal. Naoto Yamaguchi. Abe Joseph Valiavito. Huang Zhi Huan. Jing Yi Luo. Lu Si Yao, highest distinction. Zhang Jun Chi, distinction. Tao Wen Ting. Lu Meng Fei, distinction. Liu Jun Jie. Lin Xiao Chu, Zhang Xue Qi, Zhang Shu Ting, highest distinction, Qian Yi Hu, highest distinction, Ya Di Yang, Si Jie Liang. Jiang Lingyan, distinction. Joshua Lawrence. Chen Yu Zheng. Ying Yin Ting, highest distinction. Chuck Shu Munshi. Yu Ting Ke.
Please join me in a round of applause. Will the graduates of the Master of Information Systems Management, Business Intelligence, and Data Analytics please rise and come forward. Aditya Guglani, Distinction. Akhari Abhinav Aditya. Ankur Kurana. Li Yan Hui. Jun Da Yang. Shilpa Udgata. Dhruv Bogle, Distinction. Vishvak Sena, Ravi Chandra. Saloni Sheet, Highest Distinction. Nigzad Karas. Ganesh N. Naveen Kumar Kalaga. Saurav Kokpaliwar, highest distinction. Sriram Rangarajan. Payal Ashok Fofadia, distinction. Priyanka Shah. Jun Jin Pu Julianne Friend, Distinction Emilio Esposito, Highest Distinction Mark Minnis, Highest Distinction Nathan Todd Miller Yao Zhou, Distinction Minji Sophie Ha. Inchara Devalker. Sonali Guliria. Distinction. Adeshua Taiwo Adegoke. Sushruta Gongala. Highest distinction. Alexander. Dushku the second. Christopher James Mingle, distinction. Please join me in a round of applause. Will Program Director Randy Trezak please come forward? Will the graduates of the Masters of Science in Information Security Policy and Management please rise and come forward?
Nawaf Al Abdul Hadi. Arun Chauhan. Krishna Chirmamila. Ernesto Rodriguez Cojasos, highest distinction. Adon Halid Aladon. Danielle Widia Suryanata, distinction. Ika Yulianti Rosita, highest distinction. Srikanth Gaud Mandala, distinction. Ng Hao Yuan Andre, highest distinction. Austin Rex Minter. Brian C. Lewis. John Alexander Kathimer. Highest distinction. Adrian Piergalini. Stephanie Kumi. Allison Quinn. Jennifer Caridad Urgiles. Highest distinction. Niall White. Kara Bloom. Highest distinction. Taylor Ulrich. Sarah Caitlin Mitchell, highest distinction. Heidi Rose James. Shane Ficorelli. Jordan D. Mayer. Will you please join me in a round of applause? <laughs> Will Program Director Allison Frankowski please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Information Technology please rise and come forward? Timothy Edwin Proctor, highest distinction. W. Mark Lazar II, highest distinction. Shubhadeep Das. Thank you. Shunil Kumar Parameshwaran. Kelly Lynn Kilgore, highest distinction. Kristen Marie Lane, distinction. Tyloo Andrew Farin. Hakobo Agami Saga, highest distinction. Ricardo Yamas Losa, highest distinction. Maria Lorena Campa Rojas. Vienna Juarez Araúna Ujo. Mauricio Antonio Juanes Laviada, highest distinction. Jorge Alberto Galvez Omaña. Carolina Galeana, highest distinction. Yasmin Ania, Ania sorry. Anae Torres, sorry. Jorge Luis. Alvarado Vargas. Minkyu Kim. Pomona Pomi Valero. Michael Joseph McEwen. 
Jia Hao Luo. Karina De Floria, distinction. <laughs> Meredith Howell Russell. Raisha Anna Jacob, highest distinction. Patrick Giahan. Abigail Mars Harsh, highest distinction. Karthik Balakrishnan. Kevin Huynh. Lou Challenger Jr. Sean Philip Gaskin, distinction. Liu Yinning, highest distinction. Zheng Hai, highest distinction. Please join me in a round of applause. Will Assistant Dean for Arts and Entertainment and Program Director, Katherine Heidemann, please come forward. Will the graduates of the Master of Arts Management Program please rise and come forward. Highest distinction. <laughs> Jessica Elizabeth Bergson, highest distinction. Or sorry, distinction. <laughs> Amelia Nichols. <laughs> Ellen Marguerite Murphy. <laughs> Wei Wei, highest distinction. <laughs> Ying Chong Wang, highest distinction. Pei Xiao Liu, Xie Zi Ning, Iman Muslim, Wu Zai Jun, Jessica Yang, Ding Meng Di. Li Xin Yi, highest distinction. Xu Rei Yu, highest distinction. Lauren Elizabeth Boyle. Kevin O'Hora. <laughs> Kathleen Mary Grennan, highest distinction. Eleanor Monshore de Riedit. Jeffrey Allen Morris. Justin Gilmore. Dervila Nilgun McDonald, distinction. Benaya Darren Somke. Jessica Tack. Anna Okuda. Yasmin Fokaha, highest distinction. Han Lu Zhang. Please join me in a round of applause.
Will the Master of Entertainment Industry Management Program Director Dan Green please come forward. Will the graduates of the Master of Entertainment Industry Management please rise and come forward. Chen Qing Ye. Victor Chen, distinction. Tammy Shi. Peng Wan Qi, distinction. Nikita Konikanti, distinction. Jewel Mensa. Deborah. Santa Amor. Andrew King. Chase Kachur, highest distinction. Hai Su Yuan. Li Yi, highest distinction. Zhang Han Shu, highest distinction. Hamid Rahim. Bashera Maroon, highest distinction. Alex Heald, highest distinction. Jeremy Martin. Krista Lynn Brown. Ayush Bharat Kothari. Brittany Lee Chapman. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. Will Program Director Patty Lee please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Healthcare Policy and Management please rise and come forward? Raven Turnridge. <laughs> Catherine Zilstra. Xin Mi Li, distinction. Catherine Dickerson, distinction. Nikita Patkar. Krishna Delau. Brittany E. Miller. Carmelo Raul Montalvo. Li Sha. Brenda Kotok. Jacqueline Lee, highest distinction. Terrence Harrington. Ishan Chopra. Brandon Light. Please join me in a round of applause.
Will the graduates of the Master of Medical Management please rise and come forward. Ashraf Abdul Hafiz. James Edward Burgess. Alan Stern. Elizabeth Marie Stambo. Julia C. Jenkins. Brian Michael Cabral. Savwat Gassis. Douglas Inciarte. Charles Kent. Eugene Suwandi. Mark Libertine. Yates Alton Lennon. David Richards. Please join me in a round of applause. <laughs> Will Program Director Katie Dugan Stanko please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Public Management program please rise and come forward? Telgat Suzinov. What is it? Oiten Bishamud. Roberta Michelle Serbin. Nicolas Jaramillo. Amy Beth Seymour, highest distinction. Paige Hauser. Juliana Zippe. Alexander Pazukanix. Nathaniel Lee Hansen. Jari Ravello. Nathan Howard Kotecki. Melissa Hizzy. Asia Donegan. Megan Ryan, highest distinction. Min Chang. Jongsun Min Miller, distinction. Samantha Mumini Sraz. Beth Ann Hockenberry. Please join me in a round of applause. Will Program Director Gladys Perez please come forward? Will 
the graduates of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management please rise and come forward. Niles Guo, highest distinction. Joseph Caruso. William Fries. Ryan Chad Farkas. Dhruv Bhatt. Andrew Lewis. Emane Folly, highest distinction. Redima Sodi. Apurva Reddy Nilapu. Chanel Labash. Kelsey Lawrence. Umi Sengupta. Tyler Gund. Cambria Renee Partner. Mariah Michaela Farbo. Catherine Millard. Ibrar Javid, highest distinction. Fizza Shaw. Amara Sharik. Abdullah Khan. Caitlin Blair, highest distinction. Daphne Lynn Reese, highest distinction. Reka Vaitla. Joseph John Marin, highest distinction. Vamanan Gopalakrishnan. Shelby Lauren Riggle, highest distinction. Melissa Ann Honequin. Emma Warner Northcott, distinction. Clayton Oath. Kimberly Schwicky. Bismod Kaur Minhas. Michael Bradford Arthur. Yue Chiu. Juan Carlos Davila Valencia, distinction. Zhang Tian Yu. Guo Yu Tian, distinction. Xiao Nan Shao, distinction. Hai Ying Zheng, distinction. Liu Jian Yuan. Jing Yi Lu. Lu. Xie Wen Li. Yu Yue Jiang. Yun Zhi Zhang. Ling Yi Xu. Chen Yang Peng. Qin Fan Gan Chen Jia Nan 
Bao Yi Lun Distinction Song Zi Wen Shen Gao Highest Distinction Liu Shu Min Distinction Aaron Soigling Distinction Sean Brower Christine Deronk, highest distinction. Please join me in a round of applause. Will the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management Data Analytics Program, please rise and come forward. <laughs> Lauren Renaud. Xin Distinction Sun Jing Shu Highest Distinction Xin Yao Li Distinction Kai Chi Bian Zhang Wei Wang Ruowei Anil Janwar Momin Abrar Galib Justin Michael Cole Distinction Samantha Jillian Levinson Madeline Gleave, highest distinction. Well done. Please join me in a round of applause. <laughs> Will program director Marie Coleman please rise and come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management Washington DC track program please rise and come forward. Flavia Alexandra Blahu. Flora Horvath. Katrina Ray Steinley, highest distinction. Aluf Funmilola Temitayo Oduyeru. Crystal Rodriguez. Jackson Skinner. Neil Smith. Lindsay Alexandra Duncan Powell. <laughs> Catherine Lyle Seif, highest distinction. Daisy Huang. Elizabeth Ann Martin, highest distinction. Max Tassano. Please join me in a round of applause.
Please join me in giving every one of these graduates a great round of applause. I'd like now to request uh, Professor Mark Camlet, um, Provost Emeritus and University Professor of uh, Economics and Public Policy, to come to the stage. Thank you, Dean Krishnan. It's my pleasure to introduce the winner of the Marcia Wade Teaching Award. This award is given to a member of the faculty to recognize outstanding performance in the classroom and commitment to student learning. I'm happy to present this year's teaching award to Professor Rema Padman. Rema Padman is a professor of management science and healthcare informatics. She received nominations from students in her healthcare information systems course, from students in her capstone project, and from student completing independent study projects. Professor Padman is known for her deep commitment to student engagement and learning. As one of her students noted in their nomination, her dedication, effort, kind nature, and depth of knowledge has inspired me to learn more and to perform better every day. Rema, congratulations, well deserved. Heinz College has a tradition that the winning, winner of the teaching award imparts final words of wisdom and inspiration for the graduates. Rema, the podium is yours. Thank you, Mark. Can we lower this a little bit? Um, I don't know if I can, you can see me or I can see you. <laughs> I'm a little vertically challenged, so is there a way to lower this a little bit? I don't think it can be lowered any further. M maybe you can stand to the side. Okay, all right. I face this all the time. I know I'm keeping you uh, from that big party outside, so I will try and make it as brief as I can. Um, so dear colleagues, uh, graduates and families, uh, colleagues and honored guests, I'm really excited to be here with you today to celebrate the remarkable achievements during your journey through the Heinz College and its programs that has culminated in today's gathering. I'm also tremendously honored and humbled by the distinct privilege of being selected as the Marcia Way Teaching Award winner this year. You know, this is a really emotional moment for me. There is no gift more precious or more wondrous that a teacher can receive than such an accolade from her students. So I'm really deeply appreciative and thankful for this recognition. Some of you have heard, heard me speak in the classroom with great enthusiasm about you know, optimized models and technologies for patient care, increasingly effective methods for healthcare analytics, and on and on. But today, I'd like to share my thoughts on something a little bit different that I'm no less passionate about. Today, Keith Block and, and Dean Christian oftentimes too mentioned the Heinz vision to educate men and women of intelligent action. I would like to draw on some of my own life experiences to interpret this vision and hope that you see some connections here to your own hopes and plans for the future. Intelligent action to my mind calls for a spirit of adventure, the flexibility to adapt to life's changing pathways and the courage to follow it and act on decisive decisions at the right times. So adventurous spirit, adaptability, and timely decisions and actions. Why do I feel this is the case, and how did I experience this? I grew up in a very small town, in the smallest state in the south of India. At the end of high school, as we all do, we face college choices. I chose to attend the Indian Institute of Technology in the north of India, in Kanpur. At that time, it was almost 65 hours away by train and three-wheelers and rickshaws and a three-day journey away from my family and friends and the culture and the community that I grew up in. 
Mind you, it was not the dark ages, but it never, I'm not that old, but it never fails to amaze me uh, that the rapid pace of technological change now enables this travel to be done perhaps in less than 10 hours. Well, I was the only person, much less the only girl from the area I was from to make such a bold choice, and I must have looked a little bit crazy to my friends. Though my parents, bless them, did not question my decision even once. But I wasn't really scared. I was excited and optimistic. The call of adventure was strong, and that pushed me to take a leap across the country to experience new cultures, new regions, and friendships that have had an incredible impact on my life. Five years and many all-nighters later, I took a second larger leap and moved from India to the US for grad school to Texas, no less. Again, I was moved by the spirit of adventure, seeking the opportunity to further education and new kinds of study in fresh and unfamiliar environments that would, I hoped, prompt a different kind of growth. I have never regretted these two leaps of adventure, two fundamental decisions I made regarding my education that have shaped my academic and personal background. But they have also shaped how I view choosing your path by forcing me to recognize the importance of adaptability and nonlinear choices, as well as the support of a very loving family. We have a tendency to view uh, life and careers as a linear trajectory, from high school to college, to work, families, advanced degrees and careers, and so on. We often see it as a straightforward sequence. But making choices along a nonlinear path at critical times, from undergraduate in engineering to a PhD in operations research, and to my current research in health informatics and analytics, have been a dramatic shift for me, but wonderfully rewarding. In some ways, this was a risky choice, but I finally found a field I'm really passionate about and enjoy working in more than I could ever have anticipated. From the many conversations with you, with so many of you, I'm learning that we are bound together by a similar spirit of adventure the desire to forge ahead by adapting to changes at the right times, and optimistically striving for personal satisfaction in what we do. I am always inspired by my students. Many of you come from far-flung areas across the globe to change your careers and life trajectories. By switching, for example, from mainstream technologies to advanced analytics, from traditional economics to applications in public policy, the, from the study of fine arts to fine arts management, and from the practice of medicine to enhancing it with technology and management skills. We know that in adventure and flexibility carry risk, but they also carry great rewards. I think this is the creationary force behind our men and women of intelligent action. So today, my request to the graduates is that, is that they remember, as I have, to keep your spirit of adventure alive, to continue to be optimistic and adaptive, and to be cognizant of decisive decision-making for, for new learning and new opportunities that can impact the world in a positive way. Your path forward may not be straightforward, but I hope it will be exciting and you will find areas that you are truly passionate about. So let me conclude with a few words from Annie Besant. She was an English social reformer, a theosophist, and an Indian independence leader, a remarkable lady who lived in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. She said, never forget that life can only be nobly inspired and rightly lived if you take it bravely and gallantly as a splendid adventure in which you are setting out into an unknown country to face many a danger, to meet many a joy, to find many a comrade, to win and lose many a battle. 
graduates, congratulations and best wishes for your onward and upward journeys and adventures. A final warm applause to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Rama, for connecting uh, the spirit of adventure to being men and women of intelligent uh, action. I think uh, that brings our uh, ceremony to a, a close. Um, and it's time to celebrate with a reception. Uh, please remain seated while graduates, program directors, and faculty leave the arena. But before we leave, let's give the graduates one final round of applause. Drums for the right.